Hey guys, uh, Rob here with a tutorial on how to incorporate Sirenscape with your Discord for streaming and gaming. And so first thing we're going to do is make sure that you have all the things you need. Uh, you probably might have these things already, but if you don't, uh, we'll get them for you. So you're going to want to go to Google and you're going to need uh, voice meter banana and virtual cables A and B. So if you go to VB-audio... Uh, Type that in VB audio. First link, first link that it should come up is the uh, VB audio homepage. Reason it's easier to go to Google and look for that is because look at their URL. That is jacked. Uh, some kind of page pro orange French. I don't know what's going on there. So you're going to come over to VB audio software, go to v audio apps. Uh, there's your virtual cable. You're going to scroll down. Uh, you do want to get the, uh, the uh, driver for that. You can download that, but you also need virtual cable A and B. So uh, in order to get those, he does require a donation, uh, totally worth it. In order to get cable A and cable B installed, uh, just click on the donate button and you can give him anything you want, literally probably even a penny. I give him a few dollars because uh, you know I support the guy and like what he does. So uh, you can donate. Once you click on the button and go to the donate page, um, it'll probably take you to uh, either your PayPal or credit card, however you want to do it. Once you donate and come back to the site, there will be a link there that looks similar to this, but has uh, virtual cable A and B, and you can download those and install them. Once you're there, uh, you want voice meter, and you do want, as opposed to voice meter, you do want banana. Uh, I find that to be a little easier and better to use, so you go to banana, uh, scroll all the way down, that's what it's going to look like when you have it, and you can go down here and just do the download the zip pack and un un unpack it and install it yourself or what I did is I just did the install because uh, it does it does it all for you it is donationware but you do not have to donate for this if you don't want to uh, this one you can use uh, for free just by installing it so once we get uh, that installed it's going to look like this and we will cover how those settings go in just a minute uh, but we need to open sirenscape before we do that this is a very important step and you always have to do this you need to go to your sound settings, so right-click on your speaker down here in the bottom right. Uh, by the way, uh, in case it's not obvious, this Windows, uh, this, this tutorial is for Windows. I, I do not propose that any of this will work for Mac. And I'm sure it will, but you have to, your Mac people are on your own for your settings, because uh, I don't have a Mac. So open your playback devices or your recording devices. Normally that's going to be set on speakers. Uh, your recording device is going to be set on microphone array. And so what's going to end up happening is these are going to end up on voice meter input and voice meter output. But before we open Sirenscape, we need to put cable B as the output default for both. So you're going to go to recordings, cable B, set that as default. Uh, you're going to go to playback, cable B, set that as default. And then you're going to close. You're going to say OK by closing that. Now, I'm actually not going to do it because it'll screw up the sound if I do it. So I'm just showing you how to do it. So again, just to recover, uh, or uh, not recover, but to go over it again. Playback is cable B, uh, uh, cable B, set it as default. Go to recording cable B, set it as default, then hit OK and close those. Once you do that, you can then go and open Sirenscape. And once Sirenscape is opened, uh, and it's all fully there, and all these buttons turn colors, and it's all fully loaded, you can then go back to the playback devices and change it to voice meter output, setting it as your default. Go to the playback, set it to voice meter input, set it as default, and close that. Making sure both the playback and the recordings are on the last one down. Not the aux, but the voice meter itself. And go down here, not the aux, but the voice meter. And close those. And now you're set with that. And to, in order to use Sirenscape to stream out and to have it be working with the voice meter, you do need to uh, set those to cable B, then open Sirenscape, then go back and set it to voice meter. And you do that every time. So that's a little uh, kind of a thing uh, that we all found out you have to do, but that's just the way it is. So now that you've got that set up, we're gonna go over to Discord and you do need two instances of Discord. So you'll have your regular Discord and then you also need Discord PTB. So if you go to Google, type in Discord PTB download, uh, that'll bring up uh, some links, and you want to go down and find 
Discord PTB download in former technologies. And that'll allow you to download a second Discord that will allow you to open it up separately. Because if you try to open Discord more than once, it's just going to keep opening the same instance. But this way, you can have Discord and uh, Discord PTB. You see that I have Discord and Discord PTB in my uh, Windows uh, opening things, along with all my other stuff. Fantasy Grounds, OBS, Sirenscape, DeepBot, all this other stuff I have in here. Voice meter. Anyway, you'll have Discord and Discord PTB. So in my Discord, you see, my regular Discord I have is set as Rob Tui. My Discord PTB I have set as Rob Tui Sounds. I've changed the nickname to Sirenscape to make it easier to for this tutorial to uh, to uh, show you. But those are two separate accounts, two separate emails, the whole thing, two different Discords. So regular Discord, Rob Tui, Discord PTB, public test build is Rob Tui Sounds. So now we do have to set Discord uh, settings to make sure this, this all works with Sirenscape and voice meter and so forth. So on your regular Discord, you're going to go here to settings, user settings, you're going to click on voice, and you're going to set your input device to the microphone array. That makes sense. You're talking in through your microphone. To the output device, you're going to set that as cable A, uh, and that is going to be uh, for your regular thing. Voice volume, you can leave it whatever it is. Push to talk. I use push to talk just to make it easier. I find voice activation to be crap. Uh, people have kids and wives and girlfriends and noise in the background. They're smacking gum. They're eating food. They're burping, coughing, yelling. It's, 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 it's ridiculous. So I use push to talk and I make all my players use push. You can't even sign on to my Discord server unless you have push to talk set. So that's what you do there. And then you go over to your Discord PTB. You go to the settings. You go to voice. And on this one, a little weird, your input device is going to be cable B output. And your output device is going to be cable A input. And these are, of course, drop downs you can go and pick. So input, cable B output, output, cable A input. Your output volume, you need to you want it all the way down to zero. And you you want this one to be voice activity, box unchecked, and sensitivity all the way down to zero. And you're done there. So now once you've got that set up, uh, you've got Sirenscape open, you've got your Discords set up, and now you can come to Voice Meter and make sure these settings are correct. So now this is how this all works. These probably say input 1, input 2, input 3, so forth and so on. You can go and right click on those blue words, change them to what you want. So I have my first column set at microphone, my second column set at Discord, and my third column set at Sirenscape and that's just so that I can easily understand what's happening and where it's happening. The fourth column has two parts. Uh, you see that's labeled music and Windows Media Player WMP. That is for a completely separate tutorial for another time. So don't worry about that right now. Uh, back over here you want you can left click on the white letters to set the actual workings of the uh, you know whatever that column is. So if my microphone you're gonna usually you'll see WDMs, KS, WMME, whatever. Just pay attention to WDM. That's all you need. So obviously the microphone is gonna be set to microphone array. So set that. Discord, you're gonna want that to be set to cable A output. Sirenscape, you're going to want to set that to cable B output. And then all the way over on the right hand side up here. Uh, A1 should be set to speakers or headset. Whatever you're going to be listening to is what A1 is. 2 and A3, don't worry about. Those just leave blank. And they, they never come into play. So uh, A1 is the only one you set to. Now you can save your settings. I recommend doing this. Uh, you can save your settings and what you have uh, to anything you want. I called mine voice meter settings and just save it. And, yeah, resave it. Okay. So now how this all works is... Uh, A1 is what you hear, and B1 is what the stream hears. So the stream in the in this case being you guys. If I were to if I were to click A1, I would hear myself on the microphone. I would hear my own voice, and all hell would break loose, and it would sound really crappy with feedback, and it would be all nuts like that, and it would be absolutely ridiculous. B1 is the stream, and or in this case, uh, you guys as I'm recording, because B1 is the is the output. So if I were to click that off, you wouldn't hear me. So if I was talking, you wouldn't hear me, and then I would back on again, and then I would click it off. 
voice would cut out and then it would come back on. So that's how that works. Um, over here in Discord, A1, again, that's what you hear. So if people are talking in Discord, uh, or if there's a sound being played in Discord, uh, which I will do as an example right now, we would hear that in Discord. You see that if I cut if I cut off A, we don't hear the sound anymore. It just cuts off, right? And uh, let me do that one more time, and you'll see that A1, uh, you'll see that the sound is playing in Discord because we set it up that way. So uh, you see that the green light is on the sounds, and when it stops, the green light will go off. So there you go. So that's how that's working. So the cool thing about the third column is Sirenscape never has any settings. It's always just... You never turn anything on there because you think, oh, you got to turn on that on to hear it. But no, you're hearing it through Discord. So that's coming here. And you've got to turn on B1 so that the stream can hear it. No, that's not true because they're hearing it through Discord. So this always just stays dark. So again, your normal settings are going to be your microphone, only the stream hearing it. And Discord, you hearing it and the stream hearing it, B1 and A1. So say, for example, you were streaming and you wanted the stream not to hear your conversation with Discord, you'd turn them off here. And if you didn't want them to hear you, you would turn that off so that uh, they couldn't hear you either. And if you want them both off, then they can't hear anything, nobody talking. So that's, that's kind of how that works. Um, that is pretty much it. As far as the levels go... This 3.5 here, um, I don't mess with that too much. I set it at 3.5 just because somebody recommended that I do that. That's mic sensitivity. Um, and, you know, you can manipulate that with your left mouse and set it to whatever you want. I just have mine at 3.5. You can play with the settings and see what you like uh, good, uh, best, I mean. As far as the volumes, uh, for the microphone, I have that set at 0 dB. These can be slid and, you know, make, whoa, we're really loud or not, you know, not too loud, whatever. I have mine set at zero just because that's like the normal level. So you can slide that with your mouse or you can right click it and set it to whatever number you want and hit return. Uh, this Discord I have set at negative two, so slightly lower than my own voice is the player's voice. And then the music I have down at uh, minus 10, or not the music, sorry, the sounds. Uh, so that they don't quite overpower everything. And again, you can adjust those as you see fit. So we've covered uh, turning your playback device and recording devices to B, cable B, setting them as default before you open Sirenscape. Once you open Sirenscape, going back and setting those Recording device and playback device, both to voice meter output, uh, voice meter output and voice meter input, sorry, the, the last ones, and setting them to do default and closing. Then coming over here, uh, you only have to set all this stuff up once, so we did all that, and you can adjust your levels as you go, and you'll be ready to go. So now, anytime you play uh, sounds, uh, lightning spell... You'll see that that's going into Discord, so the players will hear it, and the stream will hear it if you have uh, those on. And once again, A1 is usually what you hear, uh, and um, B1 is what the stream hears. If, you, if you're confused by this A1 right here, the only reason I'm using that is because this is... Uh, I have this set up now. This is a different tutorial, but I have this set up as my uh, desktop, so if I didn't have A1 on there, I wouldn't hear it myself. Uh, actually, is that true? Let's find out. Ooh, not true. Excellent. So it does work like it's supposed to. Yeah. So I still hear that. Anyways, guys, that is the tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope that clears up some stuff. I will also be doing further tutorials. I will be doing probably three more tutorials. Uh, one will involve background sounds if you want to pipe through themes that are playing in the background, sort of ambient noise. The other one will cover playing music to your stream uh, if you want to do that as well. And then uh, the other uh, one that I will be doing that I, everyone is screaming for is how to incorporate the knowledge I've given you so far in this tutorial 
to bring fantasy grounds in and have chat sounds triggered so when your players cast magic missile or fog cloud or when you apply the unconscious uh to a player that you know a sleepy sound <laughs> triggers but it, it, how fantasy grounds will uh trigger all that so so uh, give me some time <clears throat> my voice is going sorry guys give me some time to put those tutorials together but hopefully you've been, enjoyed this one and um you should be all set to go uh with this for incorporating sirenscape into your streams using voice meter and virtual cable a and b uh thanks a lot guys and good gaming